Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ele Reliquir Alivarium with Ken and Will. <laughs> what is that? Greek? It is a Latin. <laughs> See, while, while it's a I was Latin letters around, real close together that I don't quite get there. Yeah, while, while I was waiting around, I was like, I'm going to just plug in some of this to Google Translate. And mm -hmm. basically, a bunch of this text is just like... She left the beehive. She's going to the bees. Like, she is a bee. Like, it's all just stories about bees. <laughs> Which makes sense for the mind that we're in. But I thought it was very interesting. So I chose to just type in, leave the beehive. <laughs> and that's, that's what I came up with. It's nice when they're actual words and not like... The thing they did with like the rune tapestry and that just said player's handbook for D&D. <laughs> that just says like, this is the player's handbook? Yeah. <laughs> no, it... That's the thing. It So, what it is, is it's like, it's in the first couple oh, pages. Oh, wait. I think it's yes. in the fighter section. Yes. And it's, it's runes in like a tapestry. And if you actually read the runes, it says, this is Photoshop's default sample text. Like, it gives you that. Like they it didn't gives you even... the lorem ipsum. Yeah, it, it literally lorem ipsum. That's amazing. Oh, uh, I bet next time they make a, like, a actual player's handbook, they really won't, uh... Like, they'll pay way more attention to it. Mm. I think maybe it also harkens back to, like, design philosophies and fantasy art styles that harken back to like less internet access yeah because <laughs> like that comes from a time where you'd look at that and go oh runes not the book i should say like yeah. some of the people who have worked on D D and D D itself is an old game yeah but like now people can just be like oh i wonder what that says and i go to reddit and be like hey what, what does this say then <laughs> someone's gonna be like uh i think that's the elder futhark um or is that the... I don't know. The Younger? This is the weirdest game of Limbo I've ever played. Oh, there See, we go. even in the 2D plane, we're pulling some Sonics. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, dang. It's a proper jam. Oh, there's a chest too. The... Some regret. It is kind of convenient that the invincible one happens to be the easiest to dodge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Say that I as I that. as I screw up dodging it. I forgot the controls for dodging. Dodge. See, I was thinking of the burden. Right so otherwise, it just kind of sits there. You just need to not be under it. Yeah, that's true. It does kind of just chill. There is an achievement for throwing the burden's thing back at it. Wow. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna try and get it. Let me Let's do it. No, that didn't do it. Come on. While I try and remember the button for dodge. What is the dodge button? <laughs> oh, it's a lock on. Alright. Nope. Press D for dive. Ah, B. D for duck. Wait, oh, was I... it actual D? Actually D? It was B. Or... Okay, I was just I'm gonna say. I'm on a say controller. <laughs> It, it would be quite convenient if that fitted with the Come dodgeball on. reference. What the fuck? <laughs> you die now. I don't like you anymore. Yeah, that just went a little wonk there, didn't it? Yeah. Alright, so we are in book. We are with... in one of the Fantastic Six. Cassie's mine. Yeah. Uh, what And the... it's her, like, different selves. She was... She was... Oh, money laundering. Oh, uh, yeah. She was making forgeries for, I assume, a crime boss. Arrested. Um, they were mean to her. Everyone was mean to her. She wrote a book. And now it's a printing press. Ah, And then, yeah. She wrote a book. Everyone liked it. And then she left for America? Was she aboard the Titanic? I don't know what that boat's supposed to be. <laughs> I think it's just a general 
old timey cruise liner. Yeah. She kind of owes everything to her book, I guess. Okay. Yep. Yep. Meanwhile, in 2021, all you would have to do is just be like, Hi, you committed any crimes or felonies? <laughs> hey, yep. snap out of it and give me another ball. Okay, we're uh, going with other applicants for unrelated reasons. Have a good day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it appears that you did a bad, so we're not gonna forgive you even though we weren't involved. You made it! It's one thing that always jars me when you see someone, like, have that one in a million shot and, like, get a really good job, because it's just like, not all of you can have the one in a million shot. Come on. Most of you would just be someone's kid. That's the nice thing about Psychonauts. Like, this is fancy shit, but also the... There is kind of the the alumni boys club to it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Hurry. Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted, can we? No, we can't. Oh. Very confused Just about the librarian. To go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. We're on the edge of war. with Malignant must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. I mean, that is what the teacher said. Oh wow, that's a lot of things. So now I'm imagining like Dark Souls style, like a boss ah. fight that's like Aspect of Cast. <laughs> Aspect yeah, of the library. Confusion now has made ah, him masterpiece. My best friend! What's your name again? I went back in the I like Paperboy. These things are murder on my back. Hey, are you William Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. Sounds like Shakespeare to me. Really talk that way. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Huzzah. Huzzah, indeed. <laughs> I see that brain. Give me the plaps. Oh, we don't have time for the plaps. <laughs> Best new power. Best new power ever. Honestly, I was like. Before the stream, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, I could go explore with fucking Raz Archetype and get all those, like, back, like, all the stuff that we missed. And then I was like, wait, we were in a brain when we left off. Damn it. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, it seems like a needle threading thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because I could very easily see, like, a mild rewrite, like the wrong lines, and this being the most annoying thing on the fucking planet. Oh god, yeah. It's very easy to have a funny sidekick character be the most annoying thing ever. Which is why, you know, if you want to make a nice wise uh, sidekick character, you want to make someone who explains things thoroughly, make sure that you understand, is a clear communicator, uh, gives you a lot of good information and has a nice, calm, neutral tone. Like yeah. Fee from Skyward Sword! <laughs> yeah, everyone's favorite character. Fee from Skyward Sword. <laughs> I love Fee because it's basically someone going, okay. What do people know... not like about Navi? Ah, yes. all of that. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll just take away the annoying voice and keep the incessant pop ups. <laughs> but the thing is, it's it's just as incessant. But now instead of an annoying voice, it's just ah, but like it. for years, <laughs> for like twelve dialogue boxes. I I still want to play through Skyward Sword because I know it gets good at the end, but I can't get through it without like just cringing when getting back to the old areas. 
Yeah. There's... They learned a lot with Breath of the Wild. They learned a lot with Breath of the Wild. I still have to, like, fully play a Zelda game. At some point. We should do that at some point. Yeah, Maybe we should. The Ocarina of Time? Yeah, we can figure out how to do those. We can definitely do them. We could also just do the old, uh... Map, 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 map. And be careful. <laughs> Super this Smash Bros. <laughs> yes. Famous counterfeiter. You know, with Waluigi. Yeah. Counterfeiter? I work for myself. But I Honestly, that might I be. After our Depending, that might be here. like just we one stream. It's not that long a game. Once you have like adult Thanks. reflexes and the internet, Cassie, yeah. it turns out <laughs> it's only a long, grueling, and difficult <laughs> game when you can't look things up. And also, you're a kid and you can't move that fast on the controller. Yeah, you don't have the same controller reflexes. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, you could play the most iconic Zelda game of all, Spirit Tracks. The boss's days are numbered. I catch an Which one is that one? I just need to get them some evidence. It's for the. I can't remember if it's for the game like Cube or the Wii or the DS, can't get away. but it was we'll it. Trains. I'll get the trains. Trains. We'll, we'll briskly walk out. You of don't it say. Okay. Not well received. But, but like, hold the on, thing let me is, actually verify this because I'm computer bored. Zelda with trains sounds like an interesting concept, but then again, I like trains. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it it's execution. Okay. I need yeah, three fair enough. Minutes. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot about Phantom Hourglass. I have a lot of nostalgia for Phantom Hourglass, which means I don't actually know if it's good or not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so it came out... if you have a lot of nostalgia for a game, that usually means that it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. And Sometimes I will be real. This place, but like most of the time, it's fine for you. It is nice watching someone who enjoys a bad game playing a bad game oh, and yeah. trying to explain why it's good. Oh God, yeah. So it was released on the DS. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's the Spirit Train, which follows the Spirit Tracks along the overworld. Okay. All right. I would say something about the plot, but like, even as someone who hasn't played a Zelda game, you know every plot. Yeah, it's, it's Zelda plot. <laughs> yeah, it is. The world isn't the same, and there used to be a Link, and then, whoa, what? Who are you? Are you the Link? Wow. And then, you, you gotta help Zelda. Naturally. But Zelda's not fully incapable. Zelda usually is, like, actually kind of Zelda wilding. grows more and more capable with every iteration. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the point I think Twilight where Princesses. She will, be, she will be the main character eventually. Or, no, not Twilight Princess. Which one's the one with uh, Sheik the first time? Is that Ocarina of Time? Majora? It might have been Ocarina. Oh, I think it was Ocarina. Has Sheik been around that long? I think so. She was in the N64 Smash Bros. Wait, no. Was she in the N64? She might have been in the N64 Smash Bros. Was she, was she not as in playable, Melee? But, I didn't play Melee. And I did I. I know Sheik was in Brawl. Yeah. But that was after, like, subsequent games. Yeah. Ah, 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 damn it. Stupid fucking fish. We could do that at some point. Play some Zelders. Yeah, I also have a lot of nostalgia for Twilight Princess, which I understand is another hilarious, like, person loves bad game situation. <laughs> But the thing is, the only Zelda game I've ever attempted was Twilight Princess. And I enjoyed it for the most part. The only mm. reason I stopped is I just kind of got bored. Yeah. And like, you know, if you're not in the mood for Zelda, you're not going to enjoy Zelda. Mm -hmm. It's just... If, if it's everything you don't want to be playing right now, it's going to be just that. Mm. A, lot of the, a lot of games are like when they have a very specific theming mm -hmm. like there's stuff that's more generic just like 
chill game, strategy game, yeah. city builder game, but then some of them have really specific vibes where it's like, you have to want to play that game, you can't just be like, playing a game because you have a day off and you're trying to just like, turn your brain off a while. Yeah. That's something I found doing the the prep run for Oblivion. Like, luckily, Oblivion is so long that I think it would actually be unreasonable for us to immediately jump into Shivering Isles DLC. Because we're gonna have to. But, like, I haven't been in the mood to play Oblivion, and I just can't keep doing test runs. Yeah. Which is funny, because I think if I was streaming it, I'd be back in the mood. Yeah, probably. Like, I think that's all it's gonna take. I think that's the next game we're playing, right? Yeah. Okay. But we still have a good bit to go on this one, don't we? I think maybe one or two. Oh, fuck me. I can look that up as well. Okay, there we go. I feel like we're still missing a critical plot beat in this. Yeah. We might still have a couple more streams. I, I think I'm gonna try not to look it up unless it, like... Yeah, I'm not looking it up either. Um, unless there's a puzzle that stumps us or something like that, I'm not going to really look it up. But I, I think we have maybe three max is what I would estimate it at. Yeah, probably around there. Hi, Elephant Man. Seen any evidence around here? Nope. If I did, I'd remember. I'm an elephant. I noticed. Notice what? That you're an elephant. Yeah, I am. What about it? Ha! <laughs> elephant jokes. That makes me think of the bar, but the juxtaposition of him being like a police officer is making me think of like, you know, like a an imperial French police officer from like the mid-1800s with a club. Yeah. <laughs> not quite the friendliest mascot. <laughs> no, definitely not. Also, what the fuck up is up with this area? It's like a Chinatown vibe I'm getting. Which I'm assuming is where the forgeries were done. Yeah, I see. There's a lot of folded paper. There's a lot of folded paper. Um, the lights, or there were like banner uh, figments um, that looked like yeah, they yeah. had some sort of kanji on them. <laughs> I don't even know about like a Chinatown vibe. Maybe just like actually like Hong Kong or Shanghai or something. Yeah, maybe. Just making airplane noises. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely like a grimy industrial vibe to it, too. Yeah, CD underbelly. Mm -hmm. I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to be going in this level. I know I'm trying to find evidence, but like, that's so vague. So, just wandering around seems to be the best way to do it. You know what the vibe is for this level? What? The Jackie Chan parts of Rush Hour. <laughs> yes! Specifically, like, the prelude where he's kicking people's asses before, like, Chris Tucker shows up. Yeah. That, that, that checks out. Yeah, I like that. Like, someone's gonna come out in, like, a pure black suit and be like, I paid you to find me gonna be a gunfight, you're gonna run along a rooftop, slip down, like, end up crashing into a cabbage wagon. Some guy's gonna be like, my cabbages. My cabbages! <laughs> and the avatar reference is complete. 
We've done our duty. Yep. We've done what must be done. It's too bad about Levitate that there aren't some enemies that you could just, like, eat. <laughs> that would actually be pretty sick. The way that that animation played out, I got a little disoriented, and for a second I thought that Raz got her hat. I appreciate the positive, but this enabler is oh, not shit. doing... Um... I need... Anybody any real good. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the bad moods are a really well designed enemy because like I like the bad moods. Yeah. Great. You definitely have to deal with them immediately and they like dominate your attention. Like even if you're dealing with enemies, it's just to get your ass out of the way. Come on. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad yeah. move. Oh, there it is. But it still feels like a little petty. Yeah. A little like, yeah, what? I don't want. Yeah, it fe it definitely feels petty and like, but like that's. Oftentimes, bad moods are really petty. <laughs> Honestly, oftentimes bad moods are like you being mad about a thing that you're not mad about. Yeah. And then being mad about a different thing because it makes way more sense on the surface to be mad about that. Yeah, pretty much. Because you're not just gonna, like, wake up one day and be like, Ah, oh, I'm stressed by my socioeconomic situation! Ah! Ah! Uh, <laughs> and then shit. wake up the next day and be like, The circumstances in which I live are not extremely flexible to the dreams I want to achieve. Ah! Ah, oh, shit. No, you're gonna be like, fucking goddamn traffic. Fucking every goddamn day, the fucking traffic. You do terrible hands on the bad mood. You go, okay, so you're mad about traffic because you have to go into the traffic and go to your job. Yeah, because your and then job you have sucks, to see the bingo. real. You see the real problem, and then you can actually go about fixing it. I know this feels like this is like baby's first like, but like learning about well. I know that's the thing. There's way too many adults that don't know that. It, it yeah, it, it's one of those things where it's just like, oh yes, of course, it's common sense. It, it, it's fucking co all this stuff is common sense. Yes, you need to look at the at root of your actual problems and everything like this. It's like, yes, sometimes people just need common sense said to them, and that's that's all it fucking takes. Well, especially, like, your own brain is effectively an isolation chamber. Sometimes yeah. you just need to tell... You see, you need someone to tell you something extremely obvious so that it's not just you thinking it. Yeah. That's why okay. sometimes, like... You'll be like, man, I'm really stressed out. It's like, yeah, that's why. Yeah. And then sometimes someone will be like, you seem pretty stressed out. And it's like... <sighs> and that's when it comes out. Yeah. Graphs. Am I supposed to get to that somehow? Oh, there we go. God, and this the is giving me so many flashbacks. That's the past, like, not the. There's been a gap. I got away from it for a little bit, but like, a solid ten-year period of my life, seeing at least one of those pages a day. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, how the hell do I get out of this? Hmm. Go down here. Is there any egress? Or is that just for one thing? I don't, I don't know, I can't see any spots that are- Oh, I go back through the door. Go. I think that's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more. I can't think of a good pun for Vector. Uh, Hannibal Vector. <laughs> yep. 
That's the best I got. Yeah, maybe Scalar. <laughs> I don't know, I just met her. I... Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, that's if that's not the worst fucking joke. Which which by by its process makes it the best fucking joke. <laughs> it's such it, it's weird trying to get like a good comedic vibe going streaming because you can't really be like on your peak funny. That's not actually that funny. Yeah. <laughs> you have to fuck up just often enough for it to actually be funny when you're funny. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's that's the fine, delicate balance that I live in. Totally not just yeah. I'm always off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not coping. 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 You can tell because I'm not coping. Is this a bouncy pad? No. No, this is not a bouncy pad. Well, shit. Shoot for the star's rest. Hey, rat friend. We got a rat friend. Okay, so we can thought bubble around there. Yep, and we're now very good at French cuisine because we have the rat. Yes. <laughs> Man, Ratatouille was such a good movie. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was a solid movie. I enjoyed it. Okay. It's nice when there's like an actually rewatchable movie and it isn't just nostalgia value. Yeah. Like, have you ever rewatched Master of Disguise? Yes, I have. <laughs> God, it's speaking so of our love of ash, speaking of our love of absolute trash. <laughs> it as a kid, I didn't realize how little plot there is. There is I didn't no realize plot. It. it's just like Mike Myers doing all the accents he knows. I, mean, I remember watching yeah. it, and I guess, like, I must have been, like, eight, and it was, like, PG-13. But, like, that is definitely a kid's movie. That is not oh, just God, a comedy. Oh, yeah. God, that, that movie was made for kids, written by I, kids. <laughs> I misremembered that so hard, and it was only when I rewatched it that I'm like, oh, maybe I was really young and I only remember the turtle bit. Yeah, the turtle enough for the turtle club. You know. The only good joke. Yeah, the, the best fucking joke. <laughs> that he misunderstands what Turtle Club is. Okay, now a fair fight. Okay, whoop. Well, hey, oh, nope. There were so many ads for that. It, it was fucking advertised to shit. And you know what it was really advertised on? It's the intros to DVDs. It was yes. always there. It was on every intro to a DVD. This fish market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Oh, my health, why? I guess it didn't pass the health inspection. Yeah. Stay old cuttlefish is even better for you. Carp they haven't named yet. Fish that's past its prime. Don't only carp. Carp is garbage fish. Carp that looks like octopus. Terribly old and rotten fish here. I mean that that does sound like it. What's that on your back? Plastic samples. I'm just doing test marketing. Tell me, how likely are you to buy a carp in the next 10 days? Extremely likely. Like Thank you for taking our survey. You've automatically been added to our mailing list. God damn it. <laughs> oh, great. I think I smell some ripe evidence nearby. We're just gonna Federal get investment. fucking emails every single goddamn yep. day yep. about carp. <laughs> Another email. fishing scam, not again. I always get caught up in these fishing scams. Uh, Alright, so there's... You guys, that oh, I guess there's little this, 
the other door. and all the text just makes me think of the entire B-movie script in one image thing <laughs> when it was put printed onto a t-shirt. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, uh, the B-movie. The best part is it was actually just barely legible. Yeah, that is kind of the best part of that b-movie script on a t-shirt i i think i remember an image of it now and yeah you could definitely like if you got really cl close and squinted you could make out that yes it was in fact the b-movie maybe this is just my pe terrible taste in jokes but i still find everything related to the B hilarious i just the uh -huh. this looks like evidence of something I if I try to explain why I think it's funny, I'm just explaining B movie. Yeah, it's you know it's Jerry Seinfeld, who you know is a bee, and he meets a woman and uh, it's... like ends up cucking the boyfriend. <laughs> that movie is so weird because like it's that mix of like this must this can't have not been his passion project. It's yeah. so self indulgent. Yeah, but at the same time, the entire time it seems like he doesn't want to do it. It's like he One got coerced into doing something self-aggrandizing, and now he's just like, Oh, please stop looking at me. I just want to get this over with, please, people. I don't like the sloppiness of this ink trail. And he did it... so many promos for it, which is the funniest thing. Uh... Like, for all of it, it doesn't actually seem like he really likes the movie. I mean... Yeah, it, it does. It does, one hundred percent give off the vibe that he just did not care. I feel like I remember seeing like an interview with him or something though, where he was like, "Yeah, making that movie. I really didn't realize how hard it was to make an animated movie, and by then I had already committed and I couldn't back out." Oh. Looks I like... don't know how I did that. Okay. okay. <laughs> I do imagine making that big of a commitment and then immediately realizing, oh, this is too big for me. Yeah. And then having to finish it. Uh, yeah, I started streaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, evenings, weekends. Yeah, it's like, you don't want to have a social life, do you? How about your only interaction with your friends is through a medium where they might not want to? <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't that great? It's great. It's nice having a nice uh, parasocial life. That's how they get you. Yeah. Like, hey, how do you feel about a parasocial relationship? And you're like, well... Even one would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I am at my daddiest today. I don't know what it is. I am just like, this is my worst. <laughs> and the best. And the best. <laughs> Everyone knows the worst dad joke is the best. Oh, yeah. The one that can make people cringe the most is the best fucking dad joke. Yep. And, you know, we talk about dad jokes, but I feel like that's only one aspect of the dad comedic character. Oh, yeah. You need many poop stories. Oh, God, yeah. And you also need, like, inane, thought-terminating bullshit that's not even a joke. You get any of that? Oh? Yeah, and we now have healing. From our get a buddy. Purple, buddy. Yeah. Oh fuck. Where the hell so can, am I now? <laughs> if we do this in the real world, can people see we're archetyping? <laughs> or 
is it like Raz reaching through that gate and being like, yeah, oh, I don't know why they should be like through the corner of his mouth? <laughs> like, do they see a piece of paper or do they just see like Raz making noises? Honestly, based on that one interaction where like we got our badges and everyone else was like, what the fuck are you doing, kid? I'm gonna mm -hmm. go with the latter on that one. He is literally just making mouth noises. Because when I was his age, I knew that it would be embarrassing if I got caught doing it, but I also 100% did it every yes. opportunity. I oh god, yeah. That's all the yeah. evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, the cops yeah. are snakes. <laughs> This is some hot dirt right here. Oh, God. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river. Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Oh. Let's beat it. Nice. This was a bust. What? Bust? I have heard enough stories about people who have been in some real rough situations to have that joke have a dark tone. <laughs> yep. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Don't worry, we'll process the kit. Forced into the outlaw we'll definitely process the kit. Part. I just meant it won't sit in a desk for two years, then be thrown speech. out. We'll process it. We promise. Yeah, totally. We'll there take care you are, of this. All safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double crossing! Raz, you can just fit through the bars. Don't this even was try. Do it, part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Aww. Well, I haven't seen you I in a while. I just realized when I saw Counter for the I think I called it up. money laundering when at first. We're together, I don't know why. The word I was impossible. looking for was what counterfeit. Yeah. I hate to yeah. damage a book, of course. I just saw like a brick of money and was like, Launder! Oh yeah! You can't deposit that at a bank! We're not going to let you control us anymore! Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you can stop them. Maligula. It's a, dem it's a democracy. None of you protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. I am the star here. <laughs> I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Is she gonna like come out in like GI makeup or something like that? Kaiju? All possibilities. Get ready for the okay. session of your life. Big book. Warlock? The Tiberian. Fuck off. <laughs> you, you were outdone, Will. <laughs> That's why I'm at my daddest. I've been hyped up by this game. Yeah, I know, right? The previous one, like, non-stop. Okay, I need... I need that. Said that she's sending swarms of bees at you. Yeah. The swarms of bees. Game? 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 Game! <laughs> uh, okay, 
I don't need ball. Also, like... Also, a lot of real librarians, like, have a separate office where they don't need to, like, shush people in a library. Or, like, do work from home. Ah, uh, work from home. Turns out, the people who actually do the shelving are, like, students and volunteers and, like, minimum wage workers. And then the librarians are mostly, like, dealing with broader collection scale stuff. Just gonna keep throwing shit at I apparently skipped a phase by not even doing the mechanic. <laughs> I'm supposed to throw the pen at her and I'm just not. Just <laughs> too alpha. Too fucking alpha. I can write a better ending to this story. Hi, Ryder. What's going on? Who's in here? Hello, Cassie. You? The self-righteous little writer? What are you doing in here? We writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Oh. It's a I find that really funny because it's kind of just like I do not recall. I do not recall. Uh, we were not affiliated. We had no knowledge. I do not recall. No limit to the things you I I am yeah. The swarm of bees is just hitting me now. And I hate everything about it. And love everything. Ooh, that pen definitely does some fucking damage. Holy shit. Only we had a sword pairs in Yeah. You know, I think they say the pen is mightier than the sword because it's easily conceivable. Yeah. Concealable, I should say. You could you could very quickly just stab someone with it. Hmm. Eh. Damn it. Not a good fighting weapon, but if you take someone by surprise, you know. Yeah. I'm sure that's exactly what they meant. Oh, he just drops heals. Okay. So he doesn't like passively heal, he just drops No, that's a movie. Mm -hmm. And it's not even that quiet sometimes. Yeah. They occasionally scream in pain. My turn, Raz. Get that gate open so I can teach her a lesson. Get in them teeth. Get in them teeth. Time for more eyes. There's the more eyes. Oh no, not you. That's right. Now it's two on one. Hey, don't forget to count me. Help me out here, will you? What was that? Let's have no more throwing things. They're, okay, so the enablers are saying something, and I have no idea what it is. But I imagine it's very, like, beat aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. 
you can soul coach as well is going on you know i heard somebody point out something recently that made me far less angry about that whole discussion which is that it doesn't actually work on the people who need it yeah it only works on the people who are actually going to take accountability. Because, like, the sort of people who should actually be cancelled for, like, saying and doing horrendous things that are actually really fucked up, usually their audience either already knows or is, like, fine with it. Yeah, they just you know? don't care. Like, who's gonna cancel Alex Jones? <laughs> Fucking, they've been trying for years <laughs> to silence them for saying the truth about the frogs being gay. Man. Okay, man. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Like, imagine trying to go on Twitter and cancel David Luke. Actually, I wonder if that guy still has social media. Like, back when they first invented Twitter, it was really weird how many of these people just, like, had Twitter accounts. Where it's just like, oh, okay, I guess the former Grand Wizard of the KKK is just on Twitter, that's fine. Sure, why not? It seems like the thing to do. It's a popular thing. You gotta be hip with the youth if you're gonna be recruiting for, you know, racial inequality. <laughs> On the plus side, I don't think he was verified. Oh, that's good. Is that a penny over there? Okay, time for the money maker. I'm glad at least he wasn't verified, so you know, people weren't really sure it was him. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Something's not right. I've introduced moral ambiguity <laughs> into your head. So, this is basically M. Night Shyamalan's movie Split, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not actually sure that's how... I was, I was with it most of the way. I don't think that's how you're supposed to, like, do that. No. I can't believe I failed. Probably not. Again! I guess, I guess I'm... Um, if anything, I'm pretty sure that the, the, the metaphor that's Cassie. accurate to how you're supposed to deal yes, with this stuff is are. like... And so am I. Oh no, there we go. Yeah. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. Might yeah, there we go. They've reached coexistence. They'll start a democracy in the head. Yeah, there we go. And they were headmates. <laughs> Hi. Uh, are you the real Cassie? Hmm. The way Not they sure. made her move and it moved. But I'm sure she's so in here somewhere. Clever. Like, she looks then, like an insect. Did you say something yeah. about my bees? Why does she have twigs in her hair? <laughs> Archetypal victory achievement unlocked. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, so we'll, she's gonna get the bees off of us and off of the neural scrambler thingamabob. Thingamadoohickey. So that means we can get oh Maligagran in there. Behaving, are they? And I'm assuming Maligagran is gonna fail. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try, but I feel like I've lost a little control of them. 
Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, Hi, Compton. Holly. How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Friends. Well, then. Perhaps was it the birds and the bees? Down? I do. Bedtime for bees. The pick of the children. <laughs> not around the children. Oh, who am I kidding? This would not be the first time. The way that that went, it looked like they just kind of threw them away with wind. So, how's production? Jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. They were just blowing really hard. Yeah. Raz just couldn't jimmy it right. Needed an adult to help. Oh. So this actually does seem like we're going into the final stretch. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. So how about we do a little bit of exploration first? Yeah. I need to reset this bar. Using the astrolabe is gonna what be what gets us to the end. Two pins for that special projection in your life. Because uh, I think we have everything we actually want, right? Pretty sure we have everything that we want. Want. What's this? It's Ooh, just the gag order. Muffles your archetype. <laughs> okay. They allow this for people who are annoyed by it. Uh, that is good. Makes it <gasps> a digital buddy. <laughs> Okay, now there's new shit I like. Yeah. Now I love it. Pin this and watch your arch move like the wind. Um. Oh, and it explodes upon death. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. So, I'm assuming we're buying 8-bit Raz. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll do it over that. That choice says a lot about you. I kind of want this one as well. That'll get you out of a sticky situation. Give him a sugar high. Please use your purchases responsibly. Okay, let's see. Oh, I changed the sound effect too. It changed his summoning sound effect. Okay, his voice is still the same, but look at him go! I think there's a half a brain in the mail room. Yeah, okay. So we probably need to get back to that. Yeah. How do we wanna do we get back to there? Do we wanna do any additional Tom Fockery or do we wanna dive head first? <laughs> I don't know. I kinda wanna give an entire stream to the Tom to the final Tom Fuckery. Oh, is that a thing? Oh there it is. Huh. I can't leave now. Without Ford's help I might not be able to get well, back. Well it's also three thirty. Yeah. So you what? What are you thinking? Do we prolong things, or do we maybe, like, prolong things during the other stream? Because, like... You know what? A lot of games do the thing where, like, you start the end game, and then the end game actually is, like, several chapters of end game. Yeah, exactly. I have a feeling I'm like, just plot-wise, it really doesn't feel like we're gonna do sure whatever's done in a single stream, you know? Yeah. But... I'm, I'm ready. I'm all ranked up and ready for what happens. Let's let's just fucking get into it. Because it said I couldn't use the fast travel thing, which tells me that it's like, I can basically, all I would be able to do is go back through other people's minds. I wouldn't be able to do the side quests in the real world. <laughs> so, technically, I wouldn't be able to complete the game before going into this at all. It still works. So the still works. Yeah. Auto over engineers <laughs> everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking The only person's there. brain we haven't had to go into. You sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. I love his tiny hat. Ford, is it really his you? tiny hat is great. Classic. 
I'm, I'm constantly I'm looking sorry. at it and going, why a lock? I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fullbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Fullbear. What did happen to his brain? He's just... in there, all right. Ow. Where have you been? Uh, his brain was stolen. We like we never really got to the bottom of it. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Uh, but it was something to do with that casino, so we went to the casino to investigate, and that's how we got to Maligula. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the beanbags, remember? <laughs> Lucy. And just like in the 60s, it's time for their orgy. <laughs> we don't have no stamps. <laughs> oh no, Raz, you didn't send any letters, did you? Everybody ready? Are the fucking kids gonna ruin this or something? I love that so much because then it's juxtaposed with this like doddering old woman and I'm imagining her just like dropping ass and going wild. <laughs> the fucking like bobbly top of her head like going every which way. <laughs> oh, that'd be too many orifices for this game. <laughs> hey now, don't challenge them. Yeah, <laughs> they'll add more. <laughs> Psychonauts 3, all the orifices. I like that everyone's come out of his brain, but Otto's comes out of his chest. <laughs> Wait, was that kid the spy the entire time? Which kid was it? Uh, it's the one that basically made us go into a closet naked. <laughs> yeah. That would be a sneaky move. Sneaky move. And here I thought it was Lily the entire time. Ladies and gentlemen. Lily Ford. It is my great there are many versions of Ford in this one. Yep, no the entire time. Quato, right where she belongs in the heart of her family. What is this? It's a mental construct they made for Lucy to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she it's lived a with you. Such shitty mental construct. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. Although the music is actually straight ripped from the first game. Like just one to one. Ew. What did you step in? I don't know. It looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. I do kind of like that it, it implies it's the same theme playing just again, though. Standing here a second ago. <laughs> uh, we killed we killed Raz. Oh, well, <laughs> come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. Ooh. Oh. Hey, hey. That's a very hairy tennis ball. It is a very hairy tennis That's ball. Me, dummy. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. 
I you can focus. Can't Dion do this one? In my sleep. It's a better show if you do it, Rusty. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be. This is gonna be my torture. Yeah, it was a good idea. We started this this stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on? I'm supposed to be doing my weightlifting. I am curious as to why Queepy is the only one that's got like a non person name. Yeah, they just kind of like gave up in the writer's room. Whichever one successfully completes the nearly impossible balancing course. Uh, no thanks. Hey, Raz, you okay? <laughs> this is Nona's mind, not Raz's. But there may be something there. The wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father daughter team of crazy and Augustus Aquattle. One will live, one will die. Alright, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. I got this. I got this. You want a little momentum. Yeah, a little bit of momentum going around these curves. You can sort of rest easy around this. And then... Eh, eh. Fuck! Too much momentum. Okay. Come on. That's the difficult thing, though. You definitely can't stop on those. You gotta keep it up. So it's gotta be some kind of gym. Uh, nope. Damn it. Oh, you know what? What? <laughs> I think if you actually roll towards Donatella, she'll hip you up that, uh... Oh! Oh! Oh, perfect! God's here. <laughs> I just have to not think about doing it. Actually, just solving all of her problems so she like won't have to do stuff. I'm not sure. Hey, Timmy Ford, how goes the show? Well, there's a little hold up with our knife throwing extravaganza, but I'm sure they'll get it sorted out soon. Okay. You missed the balancing ball act. Besides being handsome, that Dion is as sure-footed as a mountain goat. Wait, Dion got credit for that? Did you Bullshit. See Queepy lift those weights? <laughs> it's like he got all of the muscles in the family. Still plenty okay, of so there's just one joy, more. my lad. Will Crazy kill her papa? No one knows! I mean... It's entirely possible. Ah. Come on now. Be a big girl and throw knives at daddy. <laughs> I just... I just don't feel good about it after last time. Anyone? Ah! Rest, my boy! Toss that knife in. Good job! Keep going! Oh god, it's, it's, it's moving more now. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Okay. 
Uh, okay. I could hit this last one. Or... Oh, okay. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> just, I figured I would hit Dad just for a second to see what would happen. You did it, my boy. You're my favorite son now. Wait, what was oh. that? Wow, Flea Dad tells it like it is. Okay, my turn to throw knives at Dad. Now them are functional family. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, all yeah. The children are safe. <laughs> no, I will show you my little secret. Oh God, we're seeing and orifices. To the high dive. There's gonna be orifices. Yep. Yep. Some spooky shit. A fucking Raz is gonna walk in on some shit that he's gonna need therapy to recover from. Well, that's convenient, considering yeah. the company he's in. Yeah. So what's the secret? Do you think they have free therapy? Because <laughs> based on how many problems everyone seems to have around here, I would say it's quite expensive. I mean, Raz isn't charging. I mean, being a psychonaut is basically just wizard-themed therapy. <laughs> it is wizard-themed therapy. <laughs> oh, that's fucking fantastic. That is a great descriptor of psychonauts in a nutshell. Okay, we are up the rickety, rickety stair. Nona, what are you doing? Getting out of here! You're coming with me. Nona! Oh no! Well... <clears throat> I'm gonna go here. <laughs> Yikes! Yikes. Oh. Ooh, I see something down there. Though. That's a free rank up. Ooh. You can climb this ladder again. Yeah. What's the harm? After all, why not? Why shouldn't I rank up? Also nice. Also nice. Nice landing. It was it was pretty fucking solid. Woo! That was some gymnast shit that I did not intend to do. Yeah. <laughs> landed like I was like okay I'm gonna just gonna jump off jumps to the next wire jumps to the <laughs> fucking swing section lands on the trampoline it's like alright I didn't mean to do any of that but okay I guess I'm just gonna hit absolutely fucking everything on this alright now we do the what am I doing? What am I doing? Whee! what am I doing Ford, our circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. Oh, I'm a Ligula I made created it. that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. Has she remembered like she this escaped. entire time? Come on, Crowley. Stinky dumb is over this way. Stinky wow. dam? Guess Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I don't want to think about Raz's grandma's stinky dam. <laughs> uh, neither do I. Oh, that's going to be a satisfying mechanic. Bouncing on those little tomato things is making me so anxious. Because <laughs> I remember, like, those from growing up around a mom who would sew. Yeah. And, like, those are full of sharp things. Yeah. Yeah. Those those are 100% full of pins. 
at all different angles too. Oh. Nice. Okay. Critical ball. Nona calls for help. Nona said. Nona knows Malegia. Sees psychic powers. Uh, buys a nice hat. <laughs> Disguises herself. Okay. She's the one that got Raz into camp. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's all coming together. That's actually such a She's twist. a Holy fucking shit. mastermind. What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the Astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? That's also why the why dad doesn't like the psychics. The only family the other had <laughs> Other than the family you curse is Ford's meddling so that psychics Wait, wouldn't what? be around her. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that? Yeah, that's real neat. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> like, we've had Portal since like 2005, but like, seeing it done in games is still really nice. <laughs> The music and atmosphere make it so that it like feels weird that there's enemies here. Yeah. Damn it, Will. <laughs> it hurts me because I can't be mad at it. I was just solid. It's neat that they have a spin attack now. Yeah. I was definitely new. I was surprised by that. I wasn't sure if they had always had that or not. Wait, what happened to my bouncy pad? Did the bouncy pad get destroyed? Aww. Huh. Okay, well, now we know. I didn't realize you could. Apparently when it's made of cloth, you can. Hmm. Wait, if I go into that water, do I die? Or uh, I invisible just... wall, I think. Yeah, it's invisible wall, but like... I'm wondering. Does the Aquato hmm. Curse apply to things that don't actually exist? Hang on a moment. They have before, remember the hair water? Oh, true, the hair water. How could I forget the hair wall? 
<laughs> Fucking. This would be a sweet picture. If I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolay hypnosis. You weren't. I never used the astrolays on the rest of the family. Well, you know. These are real memories mm. Lucy made for herself. That's after true. I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you, Nick Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs> I have all the tags, but I haven't found a single object. Hi. I think you can start finding them after this goes on. Yeah. I feel bad kind of hitting this guy, because he's just kind of chilling over here. Stay alert. That felt... I felt wrong. Ah, God! <laughs> my guy on fire? Oh no, I just had my little guy on fire. Oh, he's good. He's fine. He's good. I could definitely see if you're going for like a 100% run and you're like, where's this one fucking figment? I just need this one fucking figment that you would be like, okay, shut up, bud. Just, just please. <laughs> Sorry, that mustache. You were the one who gave me the pamphlet to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a psychonaut? Well, it is either you or Frenzy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic non-fiction periodical. <laughs> Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy. Just... So intense and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. Neat. How much I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and drop Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. Oh, you can secure good. the area while I keep Lucy calm. And we should be able to ah. this storm together. Love those boys, don't ya? Yep, I love me some stress and anxiety. At least I think that's stress. I don't like this place. I can't remember uh, what those blobs were. Uh, panic crab. Er, oh, those. Yeah. I think they are stress. Yeah, those ones are... Those ones are panic attacks, definitely. I remember them. Uh... Ow. Stay there. It's <laughs> Jimmy jamming though. I think it's 
set it on fire? I could set it on fire. Oh, there's an enabler now and a judge. Okay. Oh god. No good. They're under that enabler's protection. No effect. They're protected by that enabler. That enabler is doing exactly what a fucking support is supposed to do. And just sticking by that goddamn tank. I hate it. <laughs> No, how, don't use tactics against me. How okay. are in-game AI that aren't even supposed to have raid tactics better than people I've raided with? <laughs> yeah. uh, almost done, Lucy. Oh, that actually killed him. Sweet. I don't even know what happened to the judge. I don't remember hitting it at all. <laughs> Maybe it fell in the water or something? Maybe it fell in the water. I guess the panic attack did, too. Okay, so I need slow time and I need clairvoyance. Clairvoy! Clairvoy! Almost had it. If I can find the cause of this bad mood, maybe I can get rid of it. Ah. Phew. Nope. Come on. There we go. Hey, buddy. You you having a good day there, bud? Okay. He figures it out eventually. I have to excuse him. He's not at his best. Yeah. Not for me. No. <laughs> hey, bud. I think I need to figure out what's causing it. There must be something causing this bad mood around here. There it is. Oh. Happy moon now. Oh, there's the bags. Open that locket, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. Okay. We can do this. First. Ooh. This is gonna be satisfying. Wait, can I? Okay, there we go. Oh, this is actually like a puzzle. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, additional blast takes twice as much damage. Uh, burns a much larger area. If you save, it looks like there's one for the time bubble that makes it last longer. Yeah, that might be nice. I think and I want the additional to, like, get a bunch of half boxes. Yeah, I think I want to get the additional mag. Having four shots instead of three is just good. I've been using it a lot more. What's that sound? Oh, I need the steamer. Oh wow, I don't actually have the tech for that. I think I hear something. Okay, so I missed two tags. Interesting. <laughs> it was probably in the flea zone. Focus the astrolabe, Rasputin. Quickly! <laughs> fucking, fucking flourishes on this lad. Yeah. Only way to do it. Water gonna block. <gasps> Oh, 
Did we destroy Marana? Oh no, just a lot of water. Perfect. We might have made a mistake. I think we made many mistakes. I love that the the original creators of the Psychonauts organization are definitely fallible. One of those things. Oh, he's grown. Let's hope the astrolabe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry, Fort. I'll be right here beside you. Okay, so someone pulled me out of the mine. What happened to the other ones? <laughs> the like, other... The other the other peeps. Maybe the, that's what they were doing, is they were doing topside stuff. Maybe, I guess. Man, this loading screen. This game makes in suspense. This game doesn't have many loading screens, but it has loading <gasps> screens. Got him, Himmel. <laughs> Jackpot. Bullseye. I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of the mole. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which... You didn't need. <clears throat> Agents, we have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're in a mine. Ah, uh, yep. It's it okay. You were safe. Yep. What happened? We were... You were obviously in distress, so I pulled you out. Is that... her? I told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend. Maligula. That's not his girlfriend, you little snitch. I'm his girlfriend. Da 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 da! That's his grandma. Oh, God. Oh yeah, funny story. That's not really Nick from the mail room. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. Um No. <laughs> can we can we not? Really? Raz, listen. I've been following my dad for a while, and he's acting really weird. We need to get to the bottom of this. How? I don't know. Let's get Sasha and Mia to help. But my dad might be gone by the time we get back. I need to see what's going on inside his mind. I need to go in. Into the grand head. You're right. We do. And what about the girl oh. in the back? <laughs> She's ready to attack, Wait. I guess. What? You're not going to make me do this alone, are you? Lily, do you really want to go inside your dad's head? This seems like a bad call. Like a really bad call. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> right. Let, let's split up and compare notes in a bit. Oh, this is great. Here are his outfits. Oh. That's pretty normal. In his mind? Have you ever seen my father? He never thought about his clothes. <gasps> Imposters! Yeah. 
Are we dealing with imposter Maybe your dad syndrome was here? Considering a change of beard? Never. I think Not this is dad. like either he's also been astrolathed and he's someone else. Mm hmm. Because the I am Truman makes me think that. Yeah. But also all the different beards and hairs so make me think that it's like. In his office? Same with the bust makes me think that it's self image. Yeah. But not in like a, you need to learn to believe in yourself kind of thing. More like a, At least you know we thought about you're a uh, narcissist yeah. and probably damaging the family. Maybe he was getting more forgetful? Uh... It's almost like he comes here to practice being himself. Rasputin, I gotta tell you, I don't like it. I don't really think of your dad as a vain man. He's not. He do look like vain. You, something's not. Hey, this statue. Careful, Raz. That's still my dad. You can break it down. Break down these walls. I think there's something under here. Yeah, more plaster. No, it looks pretty gold to me. Yep. Inch. Wait, can I clear void? Oh, no. Oh. There it is. oh! Oh, shit! Whoa, Lily. Your dad was a really big fan of Nick from the mailroom. It is well, Nick from the mailroom. Most people are. Except my dad. My dad once told me he thought Nick John Smith was an obsequious little flex fiddle. Flex fiddle? That's how my dad talked. My real dad. Raz, this isn't my dad's mom. Lily! Ow. Hey, you kids. Get off that carpet. VIPs only. If it's not I'm your so, dad's mom. I'm so concerned about this mom. Whose mind mine. is it? Hey. Nick's brain is missing, but I mean, Nick? Make way, common folk. Make room for Zazarovich Crystal Malik, future Czar of Grolovia. Okay. Zazarovich? Wow, the narcissism. <laughs> What's a Zazarovich? The missing heir to the throne of Grulovia. He lived in exile with his family after Maligna destroyed the capital. Why is his brain in your dad's body? And where is my father's oh, so real brain? That lie. Come on, what? let's make him talk. Come on, oh, yeah, after a molecular way. left him? Yeah. Get behind me, punk. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was very entertaining. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't jump over them. Don't line. even bother. <laughs> oh, does that you have, have to go line by line. But Nick doesn't need a trench coat. Oh, come well, on. With the, with the crown does. That's true. It's for your own safety. Come back when you're older. What if we got a trench coat? <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're older. Check us now. Oh man, how long have I had this job? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Sorry, Grolovians only. Oh! You can't. It's okay, Raz. Go. But Lily, don't worry. That's what I have says. a plan. Oh, she's gonna light him on fire. Now. Hey. Follow that czar. What did that sound like? A Star Wars pod racer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'm on a Disney ride. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're in this whole fantasy. Yay. This is great. <laughs> I imagine this is what is playing in every single narcissist's head all the time. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. The whole thing is a projection. Yeah. Definitely. Behold, oh, it's a pigment the glory of Grulovia. There's pigments here. I must stop at some point. Never had a nation been more prosperous they even have the thing, like, turn to face the important stuff like it's a fucking Disney ride. Never was a royal family more beloved than the Maliks, Tsar Theodore, Tsarina Rokor, and the young Cesarevich, Crystal. The nation looked forward to the happy day when... I can't do anything. Like, this is literally... <laughs> like, how long it pauses on that. <laughs> so you can see all the jingles. Yeah. General Maligula had aroused the jealousy of the warmongering Ford Crother. Oh, yeah? He led his uh -huh. armor like an ox to gang up on Maligula, drowning the brave warrior. Just See. when I thought I'd heard so you idolize Maligula. Yep. Oh, the plane is Ford. Grilovia, the Maliks, and Maligula were betrayed by the weakness of the Tsar and the bloodlust of the Psychonauts. That is some messed up junk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't scream, it's fine. Do you have control? Nope. <laughs> Still don't have oh. control. I can't even blast this entire time. I've been trying to like shooting range this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so when it would pop up, I'd be like, bam! Nope, can't do it. Gotta love the water level. Hey, Raz. I'm watching you on the control panel here. Why'd you stop? This door won't open. What happened to the ride operator? He, uh, had an accident. Oh, good. Danger. Looks like there's an electrical problem up above the ride. Okay, I'll drain the water so you can get up there. If you can fix it, I should be able to get the ride going again from here. Check! Okay. <laughs> so, Will, how are you feeling? There we go. Good question. I'm a little crunchy. You're a little crunch? I'm a little grouchy, I should refill my coffee, but I'm wondering if I should look at how far this is into the game and if we cut it here for a full stream or if we should try to push a little. Um, you know what, that's a good question. While you do that, I'm gonna look at different stuff. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, and some dark thoughts. Luckily, we can traverse those. Yes, got the duffel bag tag. It's really frustrating because all the results are for the the quest to get him a spare brain. Oh yeah. I'm just going to do a full walkthrough and look at the chapters instead. Yep. Okay.
Okay, yeah. Uh, awesome. Based on what I can find here, we can go a little longer. Okay. There's this, and then the thing that happens after this. Okay. Okay. This was not a thing. Ah, here's the hat box tag. Okay, well in that case, I am going to save the usual grinding for uh, my own personal time. And instead, yeah. just try and see huh. how to this get to that how certain I area. Then again, I'm not sure who to trust anymore. Hey, Ford, think you can help me up into those rafters? Um, no. Glory to Grilovia. Oh, damn. So he actually is the Tsar. Apparently. <laughs> He's just a spoiled brat, though, by the looks of it. Hmm. Is that the Psychonauts crew? Yeah. I thought that was upwards. Hey, nope. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a fan blade. No, it's probably a slow time. Ooh, yeah, the Dems are swords. Dems definitely swords. Hey, bud, it's okay. Yeah, Reds is definitely super lucky that he's uh, a fucking gymnast. <laughs> yeah, he would not have a lot of luck otherwise. Yeah. The world would have been destroyed a while ago if it hadn't been for his gymnast Catch background. Me, angels. Also, they make an onk sound. <laughs> they go do. As angels do. As angels do. Angels are wont to poop. Not they say, hark the herald angels do. I really thought we would get electrocuted. Uh, it's close. Whoa, they can zip. You see that shit? Ooh. They're getting moves. Yeah, they're getting stronger. There's little boys, big boys. Is that all the boys? Oh, oh there's one. Okay, found the right one. How do you know for sure? You just pressed a different one, and it was the same wrong button. It turns like out all that... buttons are in I'd... fact the button. I'd like to think that she actually just pressed the wrong button once, and then was like, oh no, I pressed it again. Oh, no. I get to watch my boyfriend do cool gymnast shit. Okay. See, that extra mag is coming in handy, because I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, yeah. It was a worst bomb choice. Eh, eh. Maybe, instead of thought bubbles, we 
with your friendo. Such a good distraction. Hey, where'd everybody go? Okay, sorry. This button for sure. Stop pressing button. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna go heat up. Yeah, if you do that, I'm just gonna go fight. to give it a little bit of an extra blast and I look over from the kitchen to the computer and it's like, oh yeah, no, we're still doing this. We're still doing this. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good now. We're back to super peaceful times now. Avenge Malikula. That two psychonauts. Oh my god, the song is changing. <laughs> the happy hand waving movements is uh, taking on a different tone now. Yeah. <laughs> Even further underscoring why we're being very vague about which Eastern European country Grulovia is. Yeah. It's yeah. Hand motions. Hand motions. Maligula was born. If only the Tsar had supported her more, not turned his back on her in her time of need. Maybe then his family would not have been forced into exile. <laughs> Look at how brave he was. Forced to wander the earth with no country. <laughs> and a goat. Across the frozen Arctic. They went to Canada? And... Alberta? <laughs> and Halifax! Oh, and Vancouver! <laughs> we both just went coastal. So they just went across Canada. Maybe this isn't European at all. Maybe they're just Canadian. <laughs> Seriously, have you seen the flooding in, like, the DC interior? It's insane. Oh, uh, no, I haven't, actually. It's actually pretty bad. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad. 
father's mistake and to restore Maligula, the Maliks, and all of Grulovia to power. Hey! Are you stuck again? Is something malfunctioning on your end? Sorry, closed for maintenance. Uh, and uh, for the glory of Grulovia, or whatever. What's the holdup? Hang on, I gotta talk to a guy about it. Uh, excuse me, but this what door is over here. Sorry. Yeah, I know, right? Busy, busy with what? Propaganda nearing. I'm creating a future chapter in this glorious semi-interactive location-based epic. This treasure room tells the story of how once the Zazarovich finds Maligula and restores Grulovia to its former glory. I love that he specifically said propaganda thing. <laughs> But it's missing something. Not sure what. Like something to go in that big egg cup in the middle? Yeah, something there. Like maybe an egg? That's it. See? Mixed trans? You just need a fresh <laughs> set of eyes. Hey, you get me a big... Oh, aren't we all just a big old egg? egg. <laughs> Open that door for you. Deal. Hey, where do they keep the big eggs around here? Christmas in the closet. Best eggs Furry discords. We're out in the ocean. Whatever Fucking that. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you have to be friends with trans people, because that's when you learn the real funny trans jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I want this nugget. Eggs. Ooh, yes. I just... Fucking maxing out the side blast on that one. Doesn't that make you clipless? What? Doesn't that make it so that you don't have a clip anymore? You just dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. No, it um, it bursts. I don't think it. Oh. It like bursts into smaller pieces. Basically, I have shrapnel mind blasts now. Nice. Uh, I need my ball. I can't go anywhere without my ball. Okay. Big egg. Lily, do you see any controls for a giant painted mural with props? I see something called Grovian Diasporama. It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. It's well, a we thing need an egg. <laughs> If this thing is, like, a whole thing to do with, like, Nick being, like, a raging, evil-style, kind of, like, narcissistic dude, it is kind of interesting that the whole dynamic is, like, you're trying to get past blocks, and all you do is just gently try to prod and get viciously counterattacked. Those trees are ruining it. Get rid of them. You sure this is doing something? I have no idea what I'm doing. I think some cacti would really set the mood. Okay. Um. <laughs> I have no idea what we're supposed no, to do. No, get out. I want to change something else, I think. Figures. Can I go on set? Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Louie. Bye, Roz. Okay. What? It's a path. It is a path. Oh, they even give you platforms. How nice of them. Uh, I don't know if I can get to the Sharky Boy just yet. I don't... Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> also valid. <laughs> a plus strat. Speedrun strats. That's why they sent Raz. Oh, fuck. No, I ruined it. I ruined it. I ballsed it. <laughs> So now you can walk people through the speedrun strat. Yeah, see what you do is you flub around for a little bit and then huh, huh, and yep, there we go. Nice. Nope. Damn it. Well, what do you see from there? Okay, so we can get up here. What is up here? Nothing particular. Wait, I saw a figment. Oh. Yeah, there's a figment down there. Okay, that's not a path though, that's just figments. That's the door out. There's the catwalks over there. Okay, I think maybe we have to go in and actually like keep messing with this. There might be something yeah. missing. 
Wait, is that a ladder? Whoa! Okay. Uh, no ladder. ladder. Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to change scenery. Let's try changing scenery. Lily, can you change that projector screen again? Sure. It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. Okay. <laughs> Let's try flipping through some of the scenery. Let's change the scenery. Okay. There are buttons for Arctic Exile, Adrift at Sea, and Desert Wasteland. Let's go Desert. How about Desert Wasteland? Are you sure this is doing something? Oh. Okay, there's something there. I think I want to change something else now. Whatever. So we okay, that's enough stuff? for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Raz. Eh. Yeah. Are you able to do this? I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how we're doing it. That's how you're supposed to do it now. Hey, buddy. Mm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Best fully. Like, they they slapped a steak on another steak. <laughs> they slapped two steaks together and called it a they, day. <laughs> they vaselined that steak. Can you change that projector screen again? Sure. It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. I hope this actually is doing something. And like, Let's change the scenery. Okay. And the ocean oh, one actually happen. has something, and we aren't just wasting our time on this. And wasteland. Let's go. Show me a drift at sea, could you? Are you sure this is doing something? Okay. Nice. I think I want to change something else now. Whatever. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Roz. Okay. Shark time. Okay. Hey, this is I promising. Know where I am. This is the Lady Lucktopus. The Maliks must have lived at the casino. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back into the. Uh... Oh, no. Suffering no, in exile. A... Ah. Ignore me. I, I thought I saw something. Lily, didn't. there's a room here just like the one we found on the mission to the casino. The delusionist was Crystal. So that's why Nick had a Lucktopus key in his pocket. He was living there. Yeah. In exile. He's here! Crystal! Really? Wait a second. Oh, Sad Crystal. Huh. Are we about to inception this shit? <laughs> I need to do it. Yeah! It was necessary. <laughs> Too long to say executed? <laughs> yep. Actually, that would make sense for what I think they're going for. If you go into Nick's fake mind, yeah. being like, hey, why do you keep making fake mind? Yeah, why are you fake mind? Hey. Why the long face? My father died today. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. He ruined my life. And if it weren't for him, I'd be the Tsar of Grulovia. Believe it or not. I just noticed that Instead, they spell it with a I'm G. Homeless. Yeah, they spell it with a G this know. entire time. This place looks pretty nice. Ha. Good one. Hey, kid. There's something about you I like. Are you by any chance of Grulovian blood? Yeah. I am. I knew it. <laughs> Come, and let us toast to the fatherland. Hey. Want some caviar? No thanks. Depends. What exactly is caviar? It's just eggs. The most expensive eggs money can buy. Well, since you put it that way... You won't regret it. I mean, look at these eggs. 
<laughs> I'll have just one. <laughs> I don't think one is gonna do the trick. We'll see. Oh, jeez. The Fabergé is fuck. Alright, now we're doing this. <laughs> Are we stomaching it? I guess? I just realized that it definitely has the physics of an egg. Oh, amazing. <laughs> There's a lot of empty meaninglessness to it, eh? Yeah. on it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, it slows both sides so you can't get out of sync. Neat. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't trust my skills and I do not want to fall off. Yeah. Based on prior experience, the mere physics of an egg will screw me over on this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, nope. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> there's something about the dead empty castles that I like. Yeah, and there's something in the background. I can't tell what that is. Inside of someone's head? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. We're okay. It's all good. God gamer. God gamer. God gamer. First try. <laughs> Let's go. was the problem why didn't i just start breaking shit to begin with <laughs> yeah push buttons will make things work yeah what the heck is that now we're in the forest he's a big fan of eggs Something to forward and that was for now. And with her, restore glory to Grulovia. Thing over there. He hunted down for the fraud crawler, but found him to be a broken man, obviously tortured by the misdeeds of his past. Hey, I see Dugan in the back. Dugan! 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 Crystal Malik dove straight into the belly of the beast itself, infiltrating the psychonauts in their filth. <laughs> uh, 
fascinating. This, this does feel like a Disney ride. <laughs> Boss fight time? Lily, I found Gristle's memory of stealing your father's brain. Does he show what he did with it? Nope. No, it's just a weird puppet show now. Hey, wait. I'm in this one. He found their organization ridiculously easy to manipulate. Some of their most trusted agents were mere children, easily controlled by Puppet Master Malice. And you're the good guy. <laughs> Hey, this ride's not safe at all. <laughs> OSHA violation, God. Okay, I'm full health. Oh, good. I'm enjoying the gun a lot more now. That's for damn sure. Uh... Oh, there's more than one of them. Yep. My least favorite enemy. And there's <laughs> multiple of it. Still, still both of them, damn it. Fuck these guys. There we go, one's down. Oh no! <laughs> okay. So these guys need a quick distraction. Excuse me, can I just borrow this real quick? Just really, really need this. There we go. Hey, we get the Grulovia. <laughs> I just want to find that cart and get back on the ride again. This just in case. Oh, this 
go. Oh. Yep, I think I hear some emotional baggage. I way. need the steamer trunk tag in this guy. Okay. <laughs> it's getting more and more disjointed. Yeah, it's getting definitely more and more disjointed. Oh, that was that's the dentist. This yeah. must be the moment where Lobato stole Agent Zanato's brain. Creepy. So Crystal Malik was the one who hired you to swap his brain in for Truman's? I'll never tell. I'm literally watching you do it right now. Where did you put Truman's brain? I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Come on. I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Egg. <laughs> Basket. <laughs> Old egg. Box. Okay. <laughs> we gotta find the basket and the box. Yeah. Here's the steamer trunk tag. where'd you go? I found some weird stuff off the ride and... Raz, we're chasing Crystal Malik, remember? Technically, I'm at summer camp, and I, I just picked up Dugan. Come on. Mm. Oh, God. Look how tiny I get. A land without caviar. <laughs> I'm done. Problem number three. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, I love it. And he's just sitting there eating caviar where the king's just like, oh, dear God. He wants to kill Maligula. That didn't work out. So they have to escape. And now he doesn't have caviar. What a fucking spoiled rich kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so incredibly spoiled. to go back in. I believe in the plan. Yeah. Maligula is coming. It's definitely gonna happen. Boy, that kid seems stupid. Yeah. I especially like this because this is Elijah Wood. <laughs> That's amazing. Things are getting a little weird. I was wondering why he was such a like small character. I think we're coming to the finale. Egg. <laughs> Black hole void. Yeah. The stormy waters. Alright. <laughs> Pew Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> The 
ego. <laughs> I can't get over it. I just realized it's a chandelier hat. Oh, yeah. Oh, gift shop. Well, it's never complete without a little gift shop. Oh, you get pictures! Hmm. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> it's attention to detail, I man. It's so good. Ah, uh, Truman dolls. So, what did you think? <laughs> Fucking hat. I think you're a very confused person. Eggs. And you don't know what you're messing. With. <laughs> I'm going to restore a whole country to greatness. A country that your heroes, the Psychonauts, tore apart. I mean, I got to. Bolivia was never great. It was always a fair to middling country at best. Please. I was there. You weren't. It was amazing. I had a cotton candy maker in my bedroom. Yeah, because you were king. <laughs> Where's Truman's brain? Not my problem. Your dad was a brutal dictator and a ruthless strongman. My father's only problem was that he wasn't strong enough. As Tsar, I won't have that problem. Trust me. Uh -huh. The people hated the Maliks. If that were true, then why did they unanimously re-elect us every election? <laughs> this Your is great. <laughs> the Krisha mucks to squash non-violent protests. Molecular rained on a few parades, yes? But that's what cooled them down before they got too violent. Uh -huh. Tsar Theodore made a monster. He pushed a vulnerable young woman to do such horrible things in the name of her country that she snapped. He broke her. He took a sad country girl and turned her into a mighty warrior. And I'm going to do it again. Uh -huh. Maligula is my grandma. <laughs> oh, boy. Now who's confused? I've had enough of this. Yes, me too. Hey, I'm not a puppet. I'll break out of this in two minutes and then you'll be sorry. That's all the time I need to have Truman extricate Maligula from her captors back in the physical world. No, please don't. She's in a very fragile state right now. Any stress or memories could... Could awaken the Guardian of Grulovia and fulfill all of my hopes and dreams? You don't say. Please excuse well, me. Shit. I don't want to miss this. Hey, you jerk! I feel like... The hat keeps... Changing every time it shows up. It's always a little more... I'm gonna wreck this place! I'm ruining all your stuff! <laughs> I saw the fan and figured I probably wanted to slow it down. Ah! Uh, Twenty-five dollars for this piece of crap? It's made with real- Where oh. is- Ouch! My- Hey! Father's- Ow! Brain! Please? It's a plush toy, little prince. It's made with real metal in the briefcase. <laughs> the box. Is his brain in the box? Come over here. How? How? Look. <laughs> what? No, not that one. This one. All right. So now do we have to go to the doctor's brain? Dr. Labato? Were you children just inside the mind of the grand head of the Psychonauts? No. Darling, we saw you come out. That's an incredible security violation. Listen, that's the mole. Kid, 
you're way behind. The mole is Nick from the mailroom. Sasha just figured it out. But I always had my suspicions. Why, there he is, over there. No, that's the Zazarovich of Glulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. Did she just say... I think we should get out of here. It's Malignia time! Little Zazarvich. Have you come to pay for your father's sins? Yes, High Priestess. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Gristal Malek, son of Tsar Theodore, rightful ruler of Grulovia and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. Thor, you are here too. This is awkward. people here. Uh, too much baggage. Need to... Push it all away! Oh, this is great. <gasps> Lily, wait! Well, this plan went swimmingly. I'm gonna need some help. No, nothing. <laughs> it must be the, been close to the end of stream if I'm not reacting to that. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got as many brain cells as that beaver does. Beaver doesn't look like it's holding too many brain cells. It's looking like it's on its last leg. Is Maligula doing that? Of course she's doing that. Will it tell us when we reach like a staple point? Uh, maybe. Because we should probably find a place to stop. Yeah. Because this is this is the last thing. This is the last segment? Okay. Yeah, yep. Well, in that case, do you want to save it, or what do you want to do? I kind of want to save it. I'm getting a little tired. Okay. In that case, we'll save it for the next time. Um, a little bit of a tease for everyone. Oh, it literally doesn't let us... Wait, can I... Okay, yeah. So it's been seven seconds since the last save. We're good. So this pop is back there. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I guess the next stream is going to be next week where we definitely will finish this off and maybe do a couple side quests or something. Who knows? Yeah, should be a good time. Yeah. So, uh, next stream is going to be maybe tomorrow, definitely Monday. <laughs> uh, as always, thank you everyone for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.